My name is Chris Wren, and I'm the owner of Bridger Nine Records and Sully's Brand. My first company I started when I was 19. It's an independent record label it's called Bridge Nine Records, mostly focused on hardcore and punk bands. When I moved to Boston, I realized I needed to make more money. So I was looking for opportunities to come up with more cash to fund some of the records that my label was releasing. So I was always comfortable with selling things. You know, I had started selling bumper stickers to places like Hot Topic and I was just looking for opportunities. I mean, I remember I walked into Hot Topic one day, a friend worked at one of the stores and I was like, I could make these. So I just sent them a mock-up for an idea that I had and they agreed to buy it. Within two years, I think we sold like 20,000 bumper stickers. So I took that money initially and was putting it into making records and trying to make skateboards, but it was starting to die out. So when friends of mine told me about all the people that were down at Fenway, I mean, I lived in Mission Hill, so I was just a mile or two away. When you have 38,000 people at one place into one thing, there's definitely a lot of opportunity there. So I just came up with a bumper sticker that was, you know, kind of playing on the, the New York robbery with Boston and just went down there and sold stickers out of a backpack. Having both companies has allowed me to take chances. You'll see influences from one or the other. There's t-shirt designs that you'll see that I do for the record label that you'll, that'll kind of mirror something that I did for sports. One of my favorite designs was last year, we, or two years ago, we made the Joe Kelly Fight Club. It resonated with fans and it was just a fun shirt to do. And it ended up raising a lot of money. They, the, the Kellys used it to help raise almost $30,000 for the charity. I am an optimist. We'll come up with a t-shirt design that I think is a slam, you know, slam dunk and it just doesn't go anywhere. It really depends on getting it to the right person and having it out there. The Roger That shirt that we did after the Patriots won the Super Bowl, I made a Roger That shirt and I think a few of our competitors also did. But our shirt was the one that got to Tom Brady on the duck boat and he hung it off the back of his duck boat for the entire championship parade. And then it became a huge, huge seller for us. So it's just being in the right place at the right time. Right now, we're just exploring more licensing opportunities. You know, we have a collegiate license with Boston College, Boston University, Northeastern. We've recently started working with Boston Cannons Major League Lacrosse team. The sky's the limit. You know, we want to have partnerships with every team in the city. For the record label, you know, we're just we're, we're celebrating our 25th anniversary, which is absolutely wild. You know, the the record label I started as a teenager, and you know, now I'm in my mid 40s. So just we just want to keep doing that.